Good morning, everybody. Um, it's good to see so many familiar faces and friends. And today was set to be a celebration of the continuing struggle that all of you have waged for years on behalf of your family members and friends and the people of Iran who are seeking freedom. But today we're gathered at a time of great sorrow. Sorrow because the work that you have been endeavoring to do to prevent the kinds of tragedies that we've seen against the people of Ashraf in years past, so that we would never repeat those tragedies again, have come to pass where once again, last night, terrible tragedy befell the residents, the former residents of Ashraf, now confined to a camp that's called liberty, but is anything but liberty for the people living there. So last night, in spite of a lot of work that many of you have endeavored in promoting their safety and protection, in spite of repeated calls on the United Nations and the United States, to fulfill our commitment to the people of Camp Ashraf. In spite of all of that, we are reminded again today that we have work to do to keep further tragedies, like the one that happened last night, from ever happening again. And that is why we're here today. I'd like to now read the names of the six that were killed last night. Added to the list of martyrs. And when I finish reading their names, I'd like to ask all of you to join me in paying tribute to their spirit, because these were true martyrs who knew that their lives were always in jeopardy but nonetheless carried their fight so that their people, their country could be free. So when I conclude reading these names, I'd like to ask all of you to stand and join me in a moment of applause for their lives, for their sacrifice, and for the cause that they died for. Puran, Najafi. <laughs> Yaya Nazari. <laughs> Mehdi Abadi. Mustafa Kosravi, Akbar Azizi, Hadi Shafihi, We are here today to make sure their lives were not lost in vain. We're here today to recommit ourselves to the cause that they died for. We're here today to once again say that no longer should the people of Iran be subject to a tyrannical dictatorship and theocracy that jeopardizes the lives of their very people whether in Iran or in the world. 
And today we set forth that idea as our modus operandi. So we are mindful that these latest martyrs were given a promise by the United States government, were protected under the Fourth Geneva Convention, were given an assurance by the United States of America that they would be protected, and that was a promise that we made in writing. And whether this group, all of us, here in Washington, D.C., in our nation's capital, can stand by with the word of this country being violated, the commitment that the United States made to protect the people of Camp Liberty, and while we see them come under assault. My friends, liberty is a hoax. We need an action plan today. We need the United States to come out today and say they are for protecting as they promised the people of Camp Liberty and that we're not going to let them have any more people die at the hands of the Iranian secret police and their collaborators in the Iraqi government. The United States has a responsibility to those six people who were killed. We have our word that we're going to protect them. And here we have two documents. We know about these documents, all of us now. Now, that Mr. Bomedra left the United Nations and exposed, exposed the fact that in the draft survey of whether liberty was suitable for humanitarian purposes, this draft said categorically that Camp Liberty was not suitable, was not safe, and in this document, signed on by people like Martin Kobler, the UN representative in charge of the protection of Camp Liberty, he verifies, the UN verifies that Liberty is safe. that were killed last night are on Martin Kubler's hands today. Today, 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 Martin Kubler ought to resign his position at the United Nations in disgrace. And the United States ought to take every step necessary today to ensure the protection of the people they promised to protect whether that means returning them to a safer location 
in Camp Ashraf, which has an 80-mile protective barrier, because no longer can it be said that liberty is safe after what happened last night.